When actor-director John Krasinski introduced audiences to A Quiet Place, it was only a matter of time before the horror hit turned into a franchise phenomenon. The latest instalment, A Quiet Place Day One, is taking fans back to Outbreak Day, where, in one of the world's most populated cities, staying silent means staying alive. New York, it's the city that never sleeps and probably the last place on earth you'd call quiet. So it's the perfect location for a nail-biting prequel that even brings chills to the film's lead duo. It, it gets to me <laughs> um, and <laughs> I've seen it a couple of times. <laughs> We have to get out of the city. What did you think when you heard that's where this movie would be set? Well, it just seemed like a mad thing to try and do and to try and uh, pull off. I was very interested to see how, one, how Michael Sanofsky would blend his kind of indie uh, perspective. That, in the setting of New York, in, under the umbrella of this franchise would be a really interesting uh, place to go. Stranger Things star Joseph Quinn and Oscar winner Lupita Nyong'o join forces, playing strangers thrown together after society's collapse. In a lot of movies in this genre, we don't necessarily get a lot of characters with a lot of depth, characters that we get to know very well. This one's different. Do you like that? Absolutely. Mm. Uh, that was what uh, I loved about the first two movies, is that it is those people and their relationships that um, stand out. It was such a treat to be able to play these characters that felt very real, very human, very uh, accessible, but within this massive scale. Where before we had a family and we understand the natural um, requirement to stick together. Here we have two perfect strangers that have to learn how to navigate this world together and it's just a reminder that really we need each other as human beings in order to survive and yeah I think that's a, a lovely message to be reminded of. When you two watch this on the big screen does it still give you a fright? Yeah. A couple get me yeah. Yeah. The, the, the other character that doesn't necessarily get the credit is the editor. The editors really are the ones that make those jump scares what they are. While we were there on the day, uh, we don't yet, we haven't yet experienced their performance. It's Lupita's first return to the horror genre since her acclaimed role in Us. But she was hesitant to take on the film for one unique reason. Um, I was afraid of cats before I made this movie and it was one of the things that I was he hesitating about when they offered me the role because I didn't know whether I could get over my fear of cats. I went through cat therapy over a few weeks where I was exposed to cats and I got to ask questions about their behavior and then just inch towards them one finger at a time and by the end of it I was completely in love with them. I cried, actually, on my mm -hmm. final day with them. And, um, and now I have a cat of my own. So it's a movie that has definitely changed my life. <coughs> And if you want to see if the cat makes it out unscathed, A Quiet Place, day one, is in cinemas tomorrow.